Hello friends, in the last lessons we learnt about union and intersection of two sets. This lesson we shall learn about subtraction operation of the two sets. Say E is a set of even numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on and F is a set of multiples of 5 starting from 5. So numbers like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and so on. We know E intersection F set has those numbers which are even and also multiples of 5. That is the area given in green. So whatever elements left in the set E are those which are even but not multiples of 5. This is represented by the area in dark blue. And this blue area is represented as E minus F. Remember, it is not the entire set E. It is the set E minus the area of set F which came inside E. That is removing the intersection part of E and F. So we say the difference of set E and F is a set of elements which belongs to E but not in F. Means the elements of E minus F set are even numbers which are not multiples of 5. So E minus F set includes numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22 and so on. So it is set of even numbers but does not include numbers like 10, 20, 30 etc which are multiples of 5. Same way F minus E set has those elements of F which are not in E. Means we take out the common part that is E intersection F from the set F and the what whatever is left is F minus E. So F minus E has those elements which belongs to F but not in E. So F minus E set includes numbers like 5, 15, 25, 35 and so on. So it has numbers which are multiples of 5 but does not include numbers like 10, 20, 30 and so on which are even numbers also. So where should 145 go? We know 145 is not an even number. So it does not belong to set E but it is a multiple of 5. So it belongs to set F but not in E. It means 145 is there in F minus E. Same way, 24, where should it go? 24 is an even number, so it belongs to set E, but it does not belong to set F because it is not a multiple of 5. So 24 belongs to set E, but not in F, so it's there in E minus F. So given set A and B, A minus B includes all the elements of A which are not in the B. So it's represented by the blue area given here in the Venn diagram and B minus A includes all the elements of B which are not in A. So that's all about sets. Bye-bye.